Nostalgia baiting. If you don't know what that is, basically, it's when a game brings something back from an earlier game just so that the player remembers all the fun times they used to have. And as you can tell, PvZ2 has a lot of it. So I thought it'd be funny to rank all of it. I'll be ranking it on how obvious it is, as well as how it's done. So if something is obviously nostalgia bait, but it's fun, then it'll be higher. It's best we start with the original nostalgia bait, the plants from the first game that were added to this game. But you might be thinking, that's not nostalgia bait, and you'd be right. That's why they're an S tier. They were always meant to be in this game, and it wouldn't feel complete without them. The zombies, on the other hand, sing a different song for me. I mean, obviously most of them are S tier, but was Snorkel Zombie really necessary? Eh, B tier. And this might be my bias, but I don't really like the returning zombies from modern day. Seeing them in this game's art style, it's kind of apparent that they should have stayed in PvZ1, in my opinion. Still B tier, just because it'll get much worse. Now, most of the PvZ1 premium plants to begin with are pretty good, but there is one that's kind of questionable to me, Cactus. Cactus should have been its own thing, like its own plant. It's not even similar to the original at all. And that's what my main criticism is about all of this. It's fine adding all these OG plants, but if you're gonna add them, at least have a way to fit them into the game properly and maintain their core attributes. Because at that point, why not just make a new plant altogether? C tier. Next up we have arguably the first case of nostalgia bait in this game, Pumpkin. That being said, while the design is really bad, they made a whole new type of plant just to fit the guy into this game. But still C tier. And then there's this, Mega Gatling P. This frustrates me so much you don't even know. They wanted to nostalgia bait so badly that they created one of the most busted plants in the game. And instead of taking a step back and rethinking the entire reason of adding new plants and just the balance of everything as a whole, they were like, this is gonna sell a lot of pinatas. And that's my second main criticism. When the sales of pinatas are more of a priority than making a good plant that's, you know, balanced. And with most of these nostalgia baited plants, it is clear that monetary gain is all they care about. D tier. If there was an F tier, I would put this in it, but we don't have that much budget. Now this one isn't nostalgia bait, but I thought it'd be funny to include. I'm of course talking about chili pepper, because this is like the opposite of nostalgia bait. Instead of going backwards, this one is from the future and it's still completely unoriginal. Literally just pepper, but blue. I'm not gonna rank this one though, since like I said, this isn't technically nostalgia bait. Also, I guess it is kind of relevant since the new new version of PVZ3 released. Going off topic a bit, I just think it's crazy that PVZ2 when it first released is literally 10 times the scale of PVZ3. I mean, it actually had unique zombies. Oh yeah, and Buttercup is kind of the same way, being from the original PvZ3, but it's actually creative and kind of cute, so I excuse it. Well, we all knew this was coming. Saying that I have a history with Scaredy Shroom would be an understatement. This one plant represents all of my frustration with modern PvZ2 and just the PvZ franchise as a whole. This is everything bad, greedy, and neglectful about PvZ personified into one plant. I could honestly rant about this all day. The design, ugly and inconsistent. The balancing, non-existent. It should not be this strong. And the worst part is, this plant most likely sold above average compared to the original plants. Which means that PopCap and PVZ won D tier. While I'm only trying to cover Nostalgia Bait from the first game, I thought I might as well bring up Nightcap, which doesn't belong in this game whatsoever. There's also z and some other miscellaneous ones that may not be true nostalgia bait, but I still dislike them. And the newest officially released nostalgia bait plant, Ice Shroom. The thing that makes me the most upset about this is that they literally made a plant that does the exact same thing he does in the first game. And you know, that was character development, not relying on old plants and coming up with new and creative ones, until they realized this whole nostalgia baiting thing was getting them some extra money. So they just slap this thing together. That doesn't even resemble Ice Room in the slightest. 
the only similarities are the name and I guess if you squint hard enough, the appearance. Oh, and they think they're so clever and so cheeky with their little almanac description. This is so bad. Like, this is 100% the worst case of nostalgia baiting, because at least the other ones had somewhat of the original gimmick. Even Scary Shroom. But this? This is just a random plant with Ice Shroom painted over it. This is textbook definition of nostalgia baiting. D tier. There's also Sea Shroom which isn't released yet and I hope is never released because of the sheer uselessness of it. If they were to release it, how even would they? What, are they gonna add water to the arena stage? Shoot, I'm giving them ideas. C tier, just because this has the smallest possibility of not releasing. And for some reason they also added Ducky Tube Zombies which is like whatever. Have fun cross promoting a game that nobody likes or will ever like. It's just a reskin of Basic Zombie anyway. C tier. Also recently, they added Zomboni and Bobsled Team. They cannot wait this long and expect to add these. And they're just such a downgrade. They look unironically 10 times worse than the original PVZ1 versions. I mean, they just don't have any charm. Compare the PVZ2 models to the PVZ1 models. It's like night and day. It's like one was made by someone who cares and who knows what they're doing and the other one was made by AI. And I wouldn't even put that past EA and PopCap to use AI. Maybe they've been asking ChatGPT where to lead their company. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what? I'm done. They're all F tier. And I'm just gonna pretend that Catapult Zombie doesn't exist. But that's all the major nostalgia rate I could find in PVZ2. Now obviously I didn't go into detail about every single plant and zombie that appears in both games, but I think I covered everything major. Honestly, if PVZ2 really wanted to do this, they should have just copied what PVZ2 China did with Memory Lane. It is so much better in my opinion. But I am aware that this isn't really the main discussion at the moment. The reason why I'm even making this video and not a video about the new PVZ3 is because honestly, I already know that these big PVZ YouTubers are going to make these big videos about everything wrong with PVZ3 and that's fine. Basically, everything's already been said. So that just about does it for this video. Let me know what you think about all this nostalgia baiting and uh, what's your favorite nostalgia bait? I don't know. Feel free to like or subscribe. Follow me at any% 96 on Twitter. And as always... Ha 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 any% 96 thinks he's safe. Little does he know. I will be back, and when I am, I will seek my revenge. Ha ha ha.